All right, guys, welcome to today's episode of Tech Stuff. Today, we'll be taking a look at some small rig products. This time, we're going to talk about a few different mounting options that the small rig brand actually provides. All right, if you haven't seen the first video I made about small rig, I'll put the link somewhere and you guys can go check it out. Before we begin, I want to thank Rise World Photos for collaborating with me again and lending me all this equipment for this review. If you guys have a chance to check out their store, they have all these equipment on display for you to try out and test for yourself. All right, let's dive into this episode. Um, we've got three different types of mounting options that we'll talk about today. Uh, there are a few others, I'm not going to cover all of them. All right, the first type of mount we'll cover is the one using the quarter inch tread screws. Now, this is the most common and basic one, and you can find mounting points all over the cage. Now, I have the A7R3 cage with me today, and I'll be using that for the demonstrations. And as you can see, like there's so many of these quarter inch tread holes around, so you can have a variation of different positions and, uh, you know, try out and see which one is more comfortable for you. So the advantage of this is that um, you have a few different options around the cage to attach this to. However, it does take a bit of setup time, so you kind of want to set this up in a more calm space. It's not something that you can set up in a couple of seconds. Another thing is that you got to use a tool to uh, attach this in. Now, well, I'm explaining this as a con because some of the other mounts that I'll talk about later can be attached without the use of any tool. So uh, pros and cons right there. All right, so the same thing for the side grips. They have these two quarter inch tread screws that you can screw onto the side. Now, as you can see, this does take a bit of time. So yeah, it's kind of a pre-setup kind of thing. And you know, it's easy to set up, but uh, it takes a bit of time. All right, so there you go. So these are the most common and basic ones using the quarter inch tread screws. So there are a few accessories out there that also use the quarter inch tread screws. For example, uh, this is a magic arm and it uses a single quarter inch tread screw. Now, this is pretty common out there with articulating arms and uh, magic arms like this. Basically, we use them to attach monitors and other accessories to our cages. However, being only one single screw, it does pose a bit of a problem when you have something heavy on top and nothing's preventing it from untwisting itself. So now the advantage of these grips over here is that it has two points of contact, two screws that goes in, so it prevents that whole twisting problem. All right, so the next one we are talking about is called the RE locating pin mount. Now this actually resolves that whole untwisting issue that I talked about with the single quarter inch tread screws. So the RE locating pins are actually these two prongs over here. It gives it an extra point of contact and prevents it from untwisting when you're using a grip or a top handle. So the RE locating pin receiving holes can be found on parts of your cages. Now for this A7R3 cage, we have two on the top and that's about it. So that's also a downside about using this. The receiving holes are at specific locations, so you don't have much of a choice with that. So as you can see, it's pretty quick to put on and take off, and it prevents that whole untwisting issue that we talked about just now. All right, so just now I demonstrated the use of this magic arm with the quarter inch tread screw, but actually on the other side, I have an RE locating pin, which works a lot better for this. Uh, I'm going to attach it to the side of this handle for demonstration. So for example, if you have a heavy monitor on top, this thing actually keeps in place and it doesn't allow it to twist because of those two prongs. So that solves that whole twisting issue and I've come to really like that. But of course, like I said, the downside is that you have certain locations where these RE locating pin receiving holes are positioned. So you don't have much of a flexibility in that case. Alright, so the last one we're going to talk about today is something called the NATO rail system. Now, it uses a clamp and rail system to allow your handles or your grips to be attached to your cage. Now, certain cages or accessories already come with NATO rails built into it. But for my cage, it does not have that NATO rail on. So I have this NATO rail here which I can actually attach to the plate and then I can start using my handles that way. Alright, so the great thing about these NATO rails is that it's a very quick on and off system. So basically all you have to do is you just have to slide it in and twist it to lock it. And there you go, you have your handle ready to go for a shoot. Another great thing is that because of this rail, you get to do micro adjustments laterally to find sort of the center of gravity. Now, as I said, the downside about this is that the rails aren't in every position possible, but you can get these rails and attach them onto your cage in your desired position. So for this demonstration, I've placed the NATO rail on the side of it. Uh, that's because I have a grip over here that uses the NATO rail clamps. So you just have to slide it on to your desired position and tighten it. And you're ready to go and shoot. I've done this the opposite way because I have a right-handed one, but I put the NATO rail on the left. But it works on both sides of the cage. 
All right, the last thing I want to cover is that these NATO wheels actually have a safety catch on it. Uh, it's spring-loaded, so all you have to do is push it down a bit and you can slide off your rails. That, that, that's actually very convenient and also very safe if you want to use these rail systems. All right, so I actually have another Magic Arm over here. This time, it has two NATO wheel clamps on it. And same thing, if you want to attach this to a monitor cage or something, you just have to slide it into the rail and tighten the knob. And of course, this thing doesn't have that twisting problem that we spoke about earlier because it is a clamp and it is on a lateral rail. I mean, it's a bit hard to explain, but hopefully you guys understand what I mean by that whole twisting problem. All right, since we got a bit of time, I'm going to add in another mount. This one is called the Ari Rosette mount. If you guys notice, I have something on the side of my cage. Now, this is a rosette receiving mount. And how that works is that certain grips like this come with rosette mounts like these. And basically, what that allows you to do is allows you to attach it to the cage as such. Screw it in with the thumb screw over here. And these teeth actually allow you to adjust and make um, adjustments to certain angles where you're comfortable holding. And all you have to do is tighten it and it'll stay in that position. So this one takes a bit of setup time because you gotta position the receiving mount at uh, exactly where you want it. And the only flexibility you actually have is the amount of tilt you want to get with these rosette mounts. Alright, so that's all for this video. I hope this gives you a better understanding into the different mounts. Um, go check out the Rise Wall Photo Store. All these are actually on display on their shelves. And you can take them and try it out for yourself. See what combination fits you. You don't have to stick with a certain category of mounts. You can actually mix them up depending on how you want to use your cage. Alright, as usual, if you liked this video and enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps spread this video out onto the vast universe of YouTube. Um, subscribe if you haven't. I need a lot more subscribers, so subscribe. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.